We're talking with Nathan Pham, Business Development for Via Technologies. Welcome to Converge at PROs. Uh, tell me, where are we finding uh, video that we didn't find video typically before? Well, nowadays, you pretty much find videos, uh, content everywhere in supermarket. For example, you go to Safeway, you have a kiosk that you can actually uh, uh, rent DVDs there. Uh, even videos that you can stream to your car in the car PC industry. Malls, you see, um, you know, as airport, you can see digital signage. Uh, a lot of videos are being streaming at uh, many different places uh, nowadays that you don't used to see before. Well, you can't have a big tube TV in those places. Um, how, uh, what, what changes in technology and in hardware have taken place to enable display of videos in all these different kinds of places? Well, um, in order to show the videos at uh, every client end, you got to have a computer system. But a lot of times people are trying to um, have a difficulty in terms of showing, um, hiding the, the computer system. So nowadays technology are moving where the system will require to be smaller and smaller, consume less power. And that's where VR technology comes into place. Uh, what I'm holding in my hand is a full system. It's a total, total one gigahertz family system that is made by a company um, that are using VR technology. I'm holding here is a once in thin, total system solution, totally fanless, ventless, uh, dust resistant, that can be vista mounted on the LCD that are 15 inch and all the way up to 56 inch if you need it be to. So all you do is plug this right in the back of the LCD uh, and stream the content from a, a server side. Um, that's what VR is this. And in here, you find a VR board that something like this. This is the uh, newest uh, VR motherboard. It's an x86 uh, fully, it's an x86 full computer that can go all the way up to two gigahertz. It has a single chip with the graphics integrated. And uh, the size, the dimension of this is 10 centimeters by 7.2 centimeter. This is the smallest x86 computer that enable a lot of application that I mentioned earlier from digital signage, home automation, uh, portable devices uh, that you find uh, in uh, many locations that we've mentioned above. Excellent, well thank you. I think that opens up the, uh, the world for a lot of new opportunities for content providers because they're going to be getting eyeballs in a lot of new places. Yeah, I agree. I mean, look at this. I mean, I can fit this in my pocket. And that's a full-fledged PC? It's a full x86 computer board that can go all the way up to 2 GHz powered by VIA.